Hey everyone, happy Monday. Just I've been home for a little while, just got groceries put up and everything else, and now I'm discovering I'm gonna have to cut grass again. It never ends here. It's gonna be all summer long, me cutting grass, it looks like. Probably when the rapture happens, my riding lawnmower will be going around in circles because I'll be raptured right off of it. My banana plants are looking pretty good. What that is behind me, but these are walnut trees. And this is my alarm going off, but that's my orange tree. Oh, I hate having those alarms, but they went off late last night. I come out here, I don't know what was out here, but it was something. Here it could be anything from bobcats to bears to coyotes to Lord only knows what else. Sprayed that weed killer out here and it's working pretty well. If you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like these videos. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Who you need us to pray for. Definitely keep me in my, your prayers with my arm. I'm telling you today it's been bad. Horrendously bad. Gonna have to go in and get on the heating pad. I hate having to do that all the time, but I don't have a choice the way it's acting. A lot of stuff going on. Yesterday we talked about seeing the clock. So today's day one after seeing that clock. A lot of things, people. Like I said, the rapture is imminent. I'm very shocked we're still here, but the thing is, we're gonna have to do our best to try to just tell people what we know while we still have time and that's like i said i'm here with you until we're out of here and we just got to bear with it each and every day because it's what we do that's our jobs but i don't think we have much longer jerusalem day's coming up they're already threatening to <sighs> it seems like the word that came out that russia literally said that they was going to uh Supply, supply the Palestinians with weapons. Now, I don't know if you know this, but America's been doing that too. They've been actually helping the Palestinian army also. So, that don't bode well for us with, in God's eyes. But that Jerusalem day is coming up. That's coming up very soon. And they're thinking something really horrendous is going to happen then. I was talking to God last night. There was a couple things he wanted me to discuss with you guys today. The first thing was the days of Noah, and we'll get into that here in a little while, about what he wanted me to discuss with you on it. I mean, he really put it on me last night. I needed to discuss that with each and every one of you. But that was going on. There was 18 places with gunpowder that blew up in Russia. Uh, they was on fire late last night. All that was happening. That was the one thing I was really paying attention to after seeing the clock of what's going on in Ukraine. And their offensive is getting ready to happen. And there was news came out that China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea are planning and coming up with ways to nuke America. Now that came out. Now I know that that ends up happening. So that's actually playing itself out. That they are working on concepts of when to hit us and how to hit us. Now, Bella uh, messaged me late last night, and we was talking about EMPs. That she has had three open visions of these events taking place. Now, I saw an EMP event also, but I don't know if I was, if it was for me to see after the tribulation or what. I just wasn't sure, but I did see an EMP event. I saw the, I was in my truck, this one I have now, and I was, I was down in one of these little towns here close to my house, and the truck died, the car next to me in the other lane died, plane started falling out of the sky, it was very vivid. Now in the dream, when I saw it, I knew what was happening, nobody else did, because I'd already seen it, I'd already dreamed it. So I wasn't freaking out, but everybody else was. So... Could that be it? Could that be what happens right before the rapture? Very possible. A lot of people have seen it too. Uh, now, an EMT is not like the three days of darkness. I know a lot of people say, is that the three days of darkness? No. Once you get emp honey, it's permanent darkness. There is no three days. You're not coming back. 
That's like if there's a nuclear war that happens, and we all know it does because I've already seen it. When those, if they don't hit the ground, they fry everything with electronics. That means all your cars, there's no gas stations, there's no hospitals, none of that stuff exists again. That's why Einstein said after the Third World War, we'll be fighting with sticks and stones. Now, we know that happens because what does Revelation teach us? That in the end days, in this great war of Armageddon, people will be on horse. <laughs> because there's not going to be no electronics, people. They're fried during World War III and these other wars that will take place at very soon within this next seven years that that's what will happen once the people says we're in tribulation now these people are so ignorant anybody tells you that pray for them because i'm telling you that's ignorance they have seen tribulation all these years combined ain't nothing what the tribulation will unfold once the the rapture happens when you have all the seals that are broke all the bold judgments trust me Man, it says in the Bible, they will have heart attacks because they know what's coming for them. They will just fall in the streets from being scared to death. Trust me, you ain't seen tribulation until after the rapture. After that happens, bam. Now, we know the mark of the beast is right around the corner. And 100 days from now, if America defaults, it's going to be quick. And I believe they're trying to make the system default because this is part of the Antichrist system. They're going to fall because if America defaults, it defaults every country, America, because everybody's dependent on America. People don't know this. They don't study this kind of stuff. But everybody has tons of money that they're holding. And if we default, they default. That brings in the beast system. That, that hurries up the digital system, which is the beast system, because you won't be able to buy or sell because they can trace everything. The way the market of the beast couldn't work right now is because when you have money, you can just pay under the table. But you won't be able to do that when this system comes in. So the mark of the beast system is on its way. It's already making itself known. They're saying within 100 days, that system's going to be put in place. That's why I know we won't be here much longer. Because we will not be here even in the beginning of that. So within 100 days, they're saying probably in July, the mark of the beast system will start to roll out. It's already rolled out in India and China and these other places. It just hasn't rolled out here yet. Once it does... They can control everything you do, every single thing. That you will have no more privacy. That is the mark of the beast system. And eventually, you'll have to have the mark on your right hand or in your head. to have to have it scanned. But see, they have to give you a choice. That's why everybody says, well, this is the mark of the beast. That No. The mark of the beast, you have to, they'll give you a choice. You denounce Jesus and take the mark. They have to give you a choice. It's not that, well, the, the mark, you just took the mark, you didn't know it. No, that's not what the Bible says. People tell you that, that's lies. They have to give you a choice. They're going to tell you when you go to the store, now listen, take the mark, denounce Jesus, that he is not God, that Lucifer is God, and you can buy groceries. They will give you a choice. If you say no, you get your head cut off right then and there. That's what happens. They, they, they round you up, they take you, and then you go to the guillotine. That's how it will be. People think that this right now is tribulation. They ain't seen nothing yet. The gates of hell will be opened during this time. And then this hole opens up and all these beasts that are in hell will be unleashed upon the earth. And that's not saying that's, you know, it's a figment of, that's not what it means. Yeah, I'm talking demons, everything will be unleashed upon this earth. They will be following you. You will see them. That's why I tell you to be raptured. Do not be down here when all this junk unfolds. Because it's very scary stuff. And that's why God has me on here every day to convince people you don't have to go through this. Now, the ones who want to be, they feel like they have to go through wrath because that's what God said and that's not, it's a lie. God's going to give them the wrath. Trust me. And they're going to, like I said, these are going to be the people that's going to be begging God to come back within three days of the rapture, screaming to the top of their lungs. Then that will turn into anger and they will burn everything in sight. That's what's going to happen. Okay, now, in the days of Noah... That's one thing that God wanted me to talk to you about today with everything that's happening. And by the way, there was more tornadoes in California. It's crazy what's happening in there. There's a lot of shaking going on. Really keep your eyes there in Israel. All these things that we've seen are coming to pass. 
And that just tells you we're one day closer to getting out of here. But in the days of Noah, when uh, a lot of people think that the, it was a distressing time, it was not. These people do not study. Uh, when Noah started building the boat, people were still going to work. They were still marrying, going and doing their thing. Everything was not, everything was not like falling apart. Everything was pretty much normal, even while he was building the boat for the 125 years. There was no signs that the world was ending. That's what God wanted me to stress to you all, big time. That he wanted me to tell you that in those days when the ark was being built, everything was pretty much normal. These people suspected nothing that was coming. Nothing. That's why they laughed at Noah when he told them that there was a great flood coming and God was going to destroy the earth because of their sins and what was going on at that time. They didn't believe him because everything was fine. There was no signs of the world ending. And that God was stressing to me to tell you guys it's the same way this time. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things happening, but the world thinks everything's normal. That's basically what's happening right now, just like they did in Noah's time. They thought, okay, well, Jesus ain't showed up. He's been gone 2,000 years. What they don't realize is he's only been gone two days because they don't know the Word of God. thousand days here is one day up there. He's only been gone two days. How many days was he in the ground and in the night and in the in the ground? He was in three days, three nights. Well, on the third day, the third day is 2030. That is exactly 2,000 years since 30 AD. That is when the thousand year reign will start. See, if people would study their Bible, they'd know this stuff, they'd all be on their knees right now. But see, they don't study. And Satan's told them, well, you don't know, you don't know the day and the time, day and the time. See, the Christians have preached that, and it's false, for one thing, because they don't read what's underneath it. Satan has used that to make people think that Jesus don't want them, want them to know when he's coming. That's a lie. He told Noah. He told Lot. He's always prepared everybody. For when the end is coming. He's prepared us for the rapture. That's why he led us to 2030. That that is when the, seven, the thousand year reign will happen. God says in the beginning. It will happen in the beginning as it did at the end. Now what is in the beginning? The beginning is the seven days of creation. That is the seven thousand years allotted by man. But see man is telling you. The earth is a billion years old. Which is a lie. Another lie from Satan. To convince the church and the people. That there is no God. And people have fallen for it. These scientists work for Lucifer. Their job is to make you believe there is no God. And they have succeeded. But man, this earth in 2030 is only 6,000 years old. Including the sun, all the planets, they're all 6,000 years old. It's the word of God, people. It is the truth. This other junk is not. They are lying to you. It's, called part, it's part of the great deception. That man will think these things because they believe scientists and not God. The Word of God was put there so you would know these events. And I'm here to tell you that Word of God is Jesus. It is the truth. 2030, this earth turns 6,000 years old. It's 2,000 years since Jesus was on the cross in 30 AD. Now, you're going to say, okay, what does that mean, Chris? Uh, explain it. Well... Jesus many a times would disappear for two days and come back. Happens quite a bit. If you go through prophecy and go through his stories, a lot of times, even when he was 12 years old, he disappeared for two days. And Mary and Joseph didn't know where he was. They had to go back and find him. And he was there preaching in one of the synagogues. But he'd been gone two days. He did everything on purpose, okay? Like uh, with Lazarus, same thing. He waited two days to go raise Lazarus. Everything is subliminal. He did that to let you know he would always be gone two days and then come back. He's been gone two days exactly in 2030. Now, you're saying, well, Chris, we're not in 2030. Well, you deduct seven years from 2030, put you in 2023. That's why I tell you the rapture is imminent. Now, if you studied your Bible and you studied prophecy, you would know this, but people don't. They rely on what they've been told. Then they just copy that and repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse. That's why the apostasy of the church. Because now we cater to drag queens, transgenders, and everything else because they want to make everybody feel happy and 
and uh, part of the system. That's not what Paul said. He said, you don't change this word for anybody. You teach it or you're a curse. If you change the Bible to fit everybody's lifestyle, that's a curse. That means that ain't going to happen. That's where we are. That's why it's called the great apostasy. We've fallen away over the past 20, 30 years. We started trying to fill the churches with people that don't want to be there, that try to make them happy. We don't preach in church. We go there to dance and sing anymore. It's more of a circus. See, when you quit teaching the Word as it's supposed to be taught, it's called the apostasy of the church. That's where we are now, that we have went away from the traditional ways that Paul and Jesus and all the, the apostles had taught. And see, they was already starting to do it during Paul's time. They was already trying to flip it to the way they liked it to be told. And that's what's happening. <clears throat> People's like, well, there's one guy in the 18th century is why they teach the rapture. Total lie. Jesus taught it, and Paul taught it. Paul taught it. He got the biggest mystery of it. Now, he's the one that got it from Jesus. But Jesus did hint at it. I think Jesus knew enough at that point until he got with the Father. Then the Father explained. See, that's where they get this big lie that Jesus says, only God only knows. Well, he did at that time because Jesus hadn't ascended to heaven. What they forget to tell you, if you go a couple more scriptures a little bit to the right, you find out that Paul gets a message from Jesus in heaven, let him know about the rapture. And if people are watching for it, it will not catch them off guard. Now, what does that mean if it don't catch you off guard? That means you will know when the rapture's happening. See, they forget to teach you that because, see, Satan don't want you to know that. Satan don't want you looking for Jesus. So when those people say that, understand that is the devil. That is not God. The devil does not want you looking for Jesus because if you're watching for Jesus... You're doing your job because it says in the Bible for you to watch for Jesus. You're supposed to want him to come. These people do not. They don't want you even mention it. If you say that to the church right now, their heads start to twist and foam starts coming out their ears. You ain't supposed to know a day and time. Don't any time. I said, you don't know your Bible. You might want to go back and read it again. They're like, what? I said, yeah, read what goes under that verse. Who's he talking to? See, when people quote you one scripture, that means they've never read a Bible. Bottom line. They've never read it because they're just spitting up everything they, they've been told. It's repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse. The devil does not want you looking for Jesus. He does not want you wanting Jesus here. Satan wants to destroy you. People don't get that. He wants you dead. He wants you miserable. He hates you. So he don't want you looking for Jesus. He don't want you wanting Jesus. So he has used Christians to destroy the word of God and the church, and they have. So I'm here to tell you, what you're being taught and what you're being told is a lie. You're supposed to watch for Jesus. And if you're watching for Jesus, he won't come as a thief in the night. Why? Because the word tells me so. There is a rapture. Jesus said that these words should give you uh, all kinds of pleasantries. And you should share them with each other that you're not appointed to wrath. But these people teach you that you are appointed to wrath. But I promise you, they will get their wrath. But you that are waiting for Jesus will not. But they'll get theirs since they want it so bad. So I'm t telling you, read your Bible, know the truth. Quit listening to TV and these people because it's all lies. UFOs, how old the earth is, all of it. Lies, 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 lies. The Word of God tells me they're lies. And I will believe the Word of God over man. Because man is ruled by Lucifer. And his time and man's time ends in 2030. Don't matter if you believe it or not. The Lord's took us to it. He showed it to us. We've had dreams, visions. Everybody, even four-year-old kids are seeing it. I know it's real, and I know I'm leaving. What I'm telling you is you better get on the boat and stay on the boat because that's where we are. This could happen any minute. Any minute, Jesus could part that sky. And I'm telling you, you're out of time. After seeing that clock, my job is to get on here and tell you to find your place on the boat and stay on there. That this has happened before. It was normal during Noah's time. Everybody just ignored it, laughed at him, mocked him. And they're doing the same thing that Jesus said they would. And they're saying it word for word what they would say. Now let me tell you something. There's watchers and men and women that God has shown that 2030 is the end of mankind and Satan's reign over this earth. 
you better believe it because it's the truth. Jesus is coming and the flood is coming with him. Except this time it won't be water, it will be fire. And that will be nuclear fire. And it will be everywhere. I've already seen it, people. God's already showed it to me and many others what's to come upon this earth. And I'm here to tell you, you don't want to be here when it happens. My job is to try to convince as many of you that Jesus did everything in the world when he went onto that cross to prepare a place for you in heaven. And he did. So you could be there with him forever and eternity. I mean, you just think about this. A billion years from now, me, you, and whoever's watching this and listening to it, we're going to still be around. We're going to be around billions of years from now. We're never going to perish. Then wouldn't you rather that than live and want this world? Because these people want to just live here. They love this world, and they would give up eternity to spend all their time in sin. That's all they care about. Don't be one of those people. Heed the warning that me and many watchmen and watchwomen around YouTube and other places are telling you that you are out of time because we love you and we know Jesus loves you. And that's why we do what we do because we know he loves you so much and we do to help him because we know that pleases him because he wants you to be in eternity with him. That's why we do this because he loves you more than anything. Yeah, works don't get you in heaven. But see, when you get saved and you love Jesus, you do this because you love him. Not because you're trying to get brownie points, trying to get into heaven. We do this because we know he loves you. That's why we do this. We love Jesus. We're out here looking for him every day. I'm out here. Uh, Bonnie laughs at me all the time, Bonnie McCoy. She's, I said, every night you'll see me right here in this driveway talking to Jesus. I'm like, Jesus, I'm here. I'm ready for the bus. I'm always ready. Don't forget me. You know, every night, that's what I do. I'm always telling Jesus, I'm ready. I, I want to be with you. I want to work for you for eternity. And that's what he's looking for. People. He, want, he don't want people that don't want to be there with him. He wants people that wants to be with him. Are you wanting to be with him? Or do you want this world? That's the question you got to ask. If you truly do not want to go through the seven horrible years that's coming it's less than that when it starts it's going to be hell on earth people no prepping no nothing's going to help you i mean a lot of us believe there's going to be a probably a pole shift even people in bunkers are going to be completely killed in their bunkers because the ground's going to collapse on them and it talks about that in the bible that people are going to pray that their bunkers fall in on them because it says the people that are going to hide under rocks, that's their bunkers. That's people underground and all these great bunkers around the world. But they're going to pray that God destroys them in their bunkers so they don't have to face him. He pretty much told us that. Get yourselves ready, people. I'm on here every day just letting you know we're one day closer. And tomorrow might not come. And it might not even be the rapture. You might, you're not promised tomorrow. You might die in a car accident today. The lake of fire is real. There's only two ways, people. It's to be with Jesus for eternity or a lake of fire. You've got to make that choice. You've got to make a choice. You're not promised tomorrow. And like I said, we're, very, we're inching to the rapture any minute. Many of us around the web and on YouTube are preaching the same thing. I was doing it today at Walmart, of all places in the parking lot. Because... I know how close we are, and a lot of people laugh at me, mock me, and I don't care because they did know we're the same way, and God said they would do us this way. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus died on the cross for you. The only way into heaven is through Jesus. That's it. He is the door. He's the key. He's everything. He's done everything. All you got to do is believe, walk away from your past life, Get on board that ark and be sealed. And if you truly believe that there was one God, and there is, there's only one God, all these other religions are false, it's garbage, and it started out from Lucifer. There's only one God, Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe in that, that he died on the cross for you, that he was the sacrificial lamb, he did it all for you to get you on for eternity in heaven with him. If you truly believe that with your heart, and you say, okay, I'm leaving my life behind, Jesus. I'm going with you. You're sealed, and you're ready to get off this planet. You will not have to go through the hell that's about to come up on this earth. 
And I promise you, people, you don't want to be here. So get yourself on the boat and don't come off of it. I'm here every day to remind you to watch the sky. Have yourself on the boat and ready to go. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.